we've known about this for a while, about some of the stuff that's gone down behind the scenes. Gina Carano got absolutely railroaded by Disney and by Lucasfilm. It was wrong what they did to her. We've been talking about that for a long time, but a lot of people don't know some of the inside information about all the steps that led up to this. And with the South Park in or joining the Panderverse special, with everybody shitting on Kathleen Kennedy, everybody making fun of Kathleen Kennedy, uh, it seemed like the appropriate time for Gina Carano to go full savage mode and actually retweet, retweet the Geeks and Gamers clip, the part of, of everybody blaming Kathleen Kennedy for why Disney movies all suck. Gina Carano went off on this. <laughs> this is the part where KK demands any YouTubers get censored off YouTube for sharing and laughing at this hilarious episode. She'll have YouTube disable the thumbs down option because of the ratio. Then she'll have her publicist ghouls make sure Variety and Hollywood Reporter run hit pieces about the South Park creators and their families, smearing their names through every useful idiot she has under her thumb who would sell their soul to work for Lucasfilm. She'll activate her online mob to repeat the South Park creators are racist, bigots, transphobes, and demand the South Park creators publicly apologize by only using words she approves of. And finally, she'll demand they subject themselves to a re-education course of 45 people in the LGBTQ community Zoom call to sit there and listen to how badly they got their feelings hurt all over a little boop of a South Park episode. But maybe, just maybe, the jig is up. That got, that got a lot, a lot of traction on social media. And then we have the follow-up, right? We have the follow-up after... Oh, this was just her preheating the oven right here. <laughs> Because yeah. now she's about to cook. Holy crap. I yeah. could not believe this when I saw this next one. Woo! I couldn't either because somebody decided to respond. A, a dude who's been desperate. A male feminist. Male feminist. A, a male feminist who is desperate to talk shit about anybody and everyone he can to try to get attention. Decided to respond with this. In case you're wondering, Gina Carano has lost her goddamn mind. Gina uh, went off. Do you always call a woman crazy just because she has more firsthand experience in you and says something you don't like or understand? Bit misogynistic, don't you think? Knowing that that'll trigger the hell out of this dude. Curious if your overlords pay you, or do y'all just go ahead and shove your whole head straight up their ass for free? <laughs> I'm guessing for free might want to come out for some fresh air. For added context, not just for you, but the people reading. One of the things your overlords asked me to do was unfollow certain accounts because they said bad things about Kathleen Kennedy. <clears throat> who could that have been? <clears throat> hey, who, who, who could that have been? I don't know. I can't think of any accounts. Who could it be, Ryan? Who could it be? I have no I, idea. I, it would just have to be an educated guess. Yeah. I, I don't know. But anyway, that was a huge red flag for me. If I were the head of one of the most powerful entertainment companies in the world, I know that haters come with territory and that maybe the haters are expressing their thoughts because they actually care. And caring's a good thing, because as long as they care, hey, we still have something to work with. Maybe we can win their hearts back eventually. And maybe they do have some good things to add to the conversation, which they do and did. And at the very least, they're still buying the product. Look at Mando season one. Boom, the healing had begun. Again, I had certainly problems with Mando season one, but I do think in general, there was some excitement about it and some excitement for where it could go after that, especially in comparison to the sequel trilogy. Would you agree? Yes, yes. Mando season one reignited the fan base in a different way and they could have built upon that <laughs> they just didn't if you're a proper good leader you learn how to embrace and communicate not dictate and silence and demand your actors and directors unfollow and shame more than half of your fan base and the people who have stuck with the franchise for decades side note don't say the force is female then allow only the men to express their political views online <sighs> shout out pedro pascal <sighs> in fact just drop the ridiculous phrase completely. One of the problems your overlords are now having is that they made a lot of people completely stop caring about one of the most beloved franchises in history, all by bullying, pushing aggressive agendas, and trying to silence the people criticizing them. How are they able to tell stories they don't understand when the ones they identify with are the Empire? They're literally trying to squash the little guys, the rebellion. No wonder the storytelling is struggling. They fired and dehumanized people like me who did nothing wrong all the virtue signal to people like you, the yes men. But yes men, unfortunately for you and them, do not drive culture. Maybe they were banking on the kids, picking up the slack, but one of the best things about this franchise is passing it from generation to generation to share. The competition's too high to throw out something as valuable as that. Why would one generation pass it on when you've disrespected and thrown them away? Your overlords 
tried to hide behind the two opposing fan bases fighting each other instead of taking responsibility. So they encourage the hate all while virtue signaling. They're standing up for minorities, but instead using them as a shield and a weapon. Funny enough, just how our government works. They think people will forget. And yes, maybe they will. But for this moment, they've heard the people's voice and it shook them. They're choosing to stick with the weak leadership who couldn't handle YouTubers saying mean things online when all it would have taken some true leaders step in, take the reins, take some responsibility, stop discriminating, apologize about the things that have been done wrong, step completely out of politics, be truly inclusive, and they'd be back in business. Until then, they're stuck with you, the yes men, and their plummeting stock. God, damn. I'm not saying I'm right on all fronts, but I'm open-hearted, refuse to discriminate based off powerful people telling me how to think and act. And if there was something I needed to apologize for, I would have in a heartbeat, but I didn't say or do anything wrong. People come to me daily and shake my hand and thank me for taking a stand, even people who think differently. One thing is true. Good leadership makes for a better world, leading to healthier and happier people and better opportunity. Look around or watching the devastating effects of what bad leadership can do worldwide. That is an evisceration, dude. That is so damn savage. Um, and it's I, not just about her experience. It's about standing up for the fans as yes, well. Yes. Like, that's course. what more than half of this is about. More than just her experience. Yes. This is obviously something she's had bottled up for a long time. And I think that she handled this whole situation pretty damn professional uh, over the years. But it, it's finally time. And Disney Star Wars is trash. It really, really is. Everything she says is is accurate from the perspectives of the fans and that's all that really matters and disney has lost the fan base completely she's right they're they're stuck with yes men like this clown that will not help them improve the product at all it's such a small group of people and it's getting smaller and smaller every single day now i truly do not believe you can release a star wars movie in the theaters right now and it be successful i really don't do and that ray movie is almost finished oh, being yeah, written man. i can't oh. wait dude i don't think there's anything left to say i mean you leave it at that that is a literal mic drop right there we've known about some of this stuff we've known about some of the hey they demanded they asked that she unfollow people when you have something happen to you like what happened to gina it sucks for you and you probably do want to go scorched earth but at the same time you have a lot of friends that are still working on that project you don't want that you don't want to like disrupt that you don't want to make things hard or whatever so i think she was pretty classy with everything that went down and that happened and uh you know now that a couple of years have passed and it's clear that now everybody is on the same that's why this thing happened for south park it wasn't because kathleen kennedy is like super relevant to talk about it's because now she is almost unanimously seen as the biggest failure in the entertainment industry mm -hmm. like with all the star wars stuff with all the indiana jones stuff everything she's a catastrophic failure not even the media can defend her anymore at this point that's why they used her to just go after time and time again in this because unanimously that's how she's viewed and I think it was yeah. just a perfect opportunity for Gina to get some stuff off her chest.